Mississippi Delta. Mississippi Delta. The Mississippi Delta. The Mississippi Delta. The Mississippi Delta. Several communities along the Mississippi River are feeling the impact of the river cresting today, and they hope the water will vanish. When you picture the mighty Mississippi River Delta, you likely imagine winding waterways, lush marshlands, shrimp boats, and a vibrant coastline. This is America's great outflow, a plume of water and sediment that spills into the Gulf, forming a landscape as dynamic as the river itself. For generations, the Delta has been a cradle for ecosystems, fisheries, and entire cities. Its very existence supports the livelihoods of millions, acting as a natural engine for the South. But beneath the surface, far deeper than even the oldest cypress roots. This Landsat image from October 3rd of last year shows the Mississippi River Delta, where the largest river... Things are moving, and what's happening now is astonishing even seasoned scientists. Recently, researchers equipped with seismic sensors and satellite monitoring systems made a discovery that left geologists stunned. Through miles of loamy sediment far below the winding bayous and soft earth, they detected a slow but relentless movement in the Earth's crust. Not from distant tectonic collisions, but something altogether stranger. A downward dripping of solid rock moving deep below both the U.S. Midwest and the Mississippi Delta. Why is this happening now, after untold millennia of relative quiet? Could it endanger the rivers, cities, and coastlines we depend on? And, most unsettling of all, what will it mean for the Delta's future if the very ground far beneath our feet is slipping away? Stay with us, hit like, subscribe, and get ready to venture beneath the Mississippi Delta, where the Earth's hidden mysteries are finally coming to light. The Bird's Foot Delta, a landscape in peril. To understand what's at risk, let's begin at the surface. The Bird's Foot Delta. Here, the Mississippi branches into long, narrow fingers reaching toward the Gulf, like a hand outstretched against the encroaching sea. This river mouth isn't just a patchwork of mud and water. It's a crucial ecological and economic hub serving fishermen, global shipping lanes, migratory birds, and thriving coastal communities. But even before the latest discoveries underground, the Delta's future looked precarious. Rising sea levels, unwelcome consequences of a warming climate are swallowing chunks of the Delta faster than anywhere else in North America. Satellite images tell the story. Slivers of green disappear into blue as marshlands dissolve into open water and barrier islands erode into ghostly fragments, leaving the mainland ever more exposed to gulf storms. But loss isn't confined to the surface. For years, Geologists have raised alarms about dwindling sediment. Since the 20th century, levees and dams have blocked the floods that once deposited fresh layers of mud and silt, the lifeblood that rebuilt the delta with each high water event. Now, the land sinks faster than it rises, undermined by human engineering and rising seas. Cities like New Orleans are perched precariously in places just a few feet above calamity. In response, plans have gotten more ambitious. Engineers have even built a huge, two-basketball court-sized replica of the Delta to simulate new water diversion schemes, hoping to channel sediment and stave off the relentless sinking. But now, with the discovery of movement deep in the crust below, a new question emerges. Are our efforts simply shifting furniture on a sinking ship while a different disaster builds beneath us? What if the greatest risk is hidden far below, beyond our reach and control? It's no longer only a challenge of adaptability, it's a question of survival. In Delta communities, people recall family stories of land and water forever trading places, but the pace of change is accelerating. Fishermen steer boats across what was once dry land. Grandparents watch family graveyards disappear under rising tides and cattle once grazed where now only marsh grass survives. With each storm or tide, the risk grows, and more areas are declared high risk on insurance maps. Some communities have started to relocate already, 
leaving behind boarded up schools and empty neighborhoods. Yet, for all these visible losses, it's what lies below the surface that may have the final say. Secrets in the Sediment, a Lost Archive. To truly grasp today's crisis, we must look beneath the surface, deep into the earth, under Louisiana's fields and bayous are layers upon layers of ancient sediment packed with the history of North America. Each inch of clay, silt, and sand preserves evidence of ice ages, floods, hurricanes, and big bends in the river's path. The subterranean archive runs deeper than most imagine. In some places, the sediments beneath the delta stack up for several miles, storing the stories of tens of thousands of years. There are buried ghost forests, the remains of troughs carved by ancient floods, and pollen grains from vanished swamp forests, fragments that trace the changing climate and lost coastline. Recent advances in borehole sampling and seismic imaging have let scientists peer deep into these hidden layers, building intricate three-dimensional maps under the delta. They reveal complex twists, fractures, and scars, results of cataclysmic river shifts, massive floods, and long-forgotten disasters. Lost villages and ancient settlements have left their faint mark beneath tons of overlying mud. Amid these layers lies something remarkable, a vast underground freshwater dome hidden beneath the delta's muddy shell. This huge, untapped reservoir has been like a silent insurance policy for the communities above. But could the newfound changes in the deep crust threaten this underground resource? Could geologic stress or shifting ground compromise the precious stores of freshwater? The answers are not yet clear. Every sample core offers more clues. Layers of volcanic ash from distant eruptions, soot from ancient wildfires, microfossils from prehistoric shallow seas. It's a living record, now being disturbed by forces no past generation could have predicted. But it's the realm beneath even these deep sediments, in the ancient bones of North America itself, where something truly unprecedented seems to be unfolding. The Dripping Earth, Unprecedented Crustal Descent. It started as a subtle anomaly, strange readings from seismic grids spread across the Midwest. When researchers first detected odd tremors and unusual heat signatures, they initially suspected oil extraction or industrial vibration. As data mounted, however, a different pattern emerged, one that is both vast and extraordinary. April 2025, marked a scientific turning point. A team of geophysicists published the results of a multi-year effort, revealing that the lower crust beneath the U.S. Midwest and Delta is experiencing a form of dripping. Visualize this. Under immense heat and pressure, a portion of solid crust becomes so dense that it slowly detaches and sinks downward into the softer mantle below. This isn't water trickling, it's solid rock stretching downward over miles and moving at a time scale of decades rather than millennia. The implications are staggering. This is not the common kind of tectonic activity that builds mountain ranges or splits continents. Instead, the region's foundational rock is sagging quietly. The Mississippi Delta, with its soft mud, shifting rivers, and fragile wetlands, sits atop a gently subsiding basin of stone. Could this underlying process help explain why the delta is sinking so rapidly? Is the accumulated weight of millennia of sediment and water overcoming the strength of the crust below? Worryingly, researchers have called this unprecedented, both in its speed and scale. Where such processes were once believed to unfold across millions of years, sensors are now capturing changes unfolding within decades. This drip is on the scale of an entire city or larger, subtly but significantly warping the land above as it continues. It may alter river courses, threaten infrastructure, and possibly reshape the landscape of a whole region. What could this bring to the surface? Might we be witnessing the beginning of changes that will only fully reveal themselves in generations to come? In affected areas, some scientists wonder whether increased sinkholes, buckling roads, or minor tremors could be signs of this deeper process. Property owners sometimes report strange settling noises, doors that won't close, even trees newly tilting. Land surveyors are called more frequently, 
Sometimes discovering benchmarks have moved by several inches in a year. Even old local legends, once dismissed as tall tales, have acquired new relevance. Fresh water vault, treasure, or ticking time bomb. Beneath the layers of shifting sediment, there's more than just clay and stone. Deep in the delta, geologists have discovered an immense underground freshwater dome, an ancient aquifer, sealed away from the salt and mud above. For generations, it has acted as an emergency reservoir, supporting communities and farmland whenever drought or contamination threaten. This ancient aquifer is sandwiched between impermeable rock layers, largely untouched by municipal wells and considered a last resort resource. Its water is old, clear, and mostly isolated from the surface. But with evidence now showing movement in the crust below, a worrying question arises. How stable is this disk of fresh water when the ground beneath is shifting? If deep fractures or subsidence occur, could this precious water drain away or be invaded by rising salty groundwater? The consequences could be dire, especially in a future of rising temperatures and increased droughts. Shifting sediments might also change the aquifer's chemistry, potentially introducing pollutants from above or even drawing in old contaminants from past industrial activity. The resilience of this reservoir, when the delta's very foundation is in flux, is unknown. Drilling teams are now taking more core samples than ever, measuring pressure and testing for changes. The fate of this freshwater vault may become central for the entire region, a contest between drink or drought, security or displacement. It's not just a concern for scientists. Hundreds of thousands of people in the delta depend on steady, safe water. Farmers, families, and wildlife, a breach in the aquifer could spark an environmental catastrophe, pushing communities toward costly desalination or long-distance water import. Such solutions may be out of reach for many small rural towns that have long relied on the Delta's natural gifts. The Fragile Engine, Economic and Ecological Dominoes. Life above the shifting earth continues as it always has, at least for now. The Delta remains home to world-class fisheries, bustling towns, vibrant festivals, and migrations of birds that are central to North America's ecological balance. The bird's foot pushes outward into the Gulf, barely holding back the rising sea with fragile wetlands and battered levees. But now, with both subsiding ground and accelerated land loss, all parts of Delta life face heightened risk. The delicate balance that has long supported shrimping, oystering, and major fisheries is at stake. If land sinks, or if the freshwater vault ruptures and saltwater intrudes, fisheries could collapse quickly, with consequences rippling through the economy, job losses, depopulation, and billions in damages to tourism and industry. Infrastructure will also be tested. Port cities, highways, and pipelines spider across the delta over layers of soft sediment and abandoned riverbeds. If the subsidence accelerates, it could undermine roads, breach levees, or destabilize buildings, threats that engineers are increasingly anxious about as old assumptions of stability are challenged. Even the iconic cypress trees could die off as groundwater levels drop and the ground, once firm, becomes unreliable. Along the Gulf Coast, eroding beaches and vanishing marshes have always been the front line of defense against hurricanes. As natural buffers disappear, each storm season brings new risks to millions living behind only a thin strip of disappearing land. In recent years, storm surges have reached record distances inland, flooding neighborhoods, closing highways, and even shutting down once safe airports. Insurance premiums have soared, and in some places, policies are no longer offered at all, putting whole parishes under economic siege. And these threats are only magnified by our own interventions. Levees and river training works, though vital for flood control, keep out the very silt that could help the delta renew itself. With the ground beneath now proven to be unstable, some experts question whether our defenses are enough or if they simply delay the inevitable. Science on the front line, racing against uncertainty. In the face of these cascading challenges, researchers are working with urgency. Seismic labs gather real-time sensor data. Drones and satellites document change in minute detail. 
and field teams collect sediment and water cores, trying to piece together what the future may hold. One ambitious project stands out, a huge physical model of the Delta, twice the size of a basketball court, where engineers simulate river diversions and wetland restorations. Their goal is to discover the most effective strategies to stabilize land and restore lost habitat. Yet these projections were based on the assumption of a stable subsurface. Now, simulations must be updated. Models reworked with new data on deep-seated movement. Some restoration schemes may only buy time, while others could be rendered obsolete if the very ground shifts beneath them. Floating platforms for critical structures, engineered living shoreline, or artificial islands planted with climate-resistant trees. There's vigorous debate about managed retreat versus staying in place. And though no strategy is perfect, the willingness to experiment marks the Delta's tradition of resilience and ingenuity. Wider Impacts, North America's Shifting Heart. This story doesn't end at the Gulf. The changes detected beneath the Delta are part of a much larger regional shift. Seismic and gravitational readings reveal that the drip phenomenon stretches far across the U.S. Midwest, encompassing prairies and ancient floodplain. This lowering of the crust could have wide-ranging effects, changing the way water drains, affecting aquifers, even influencing earthquake patterns, a possibility hinted at by the region's history of rare but powerful seismic events. Some geologists theorize that the staggering weight of centuries of delta sediment has now triggered deeper movement, or that modern environmental stresses, like rapid climate fluctuations and intense groundwater extraction, are shifting underground pressures in unexpected ways. Whatever the underlying causes, the realization has spread deep concern throughout North America's heartland. Could other seemingly stable areas face similar underground transformations? Sensor networks now monitor other major river basins for signs of change, while new research seeks to understand how deep processes interact with surface water, infrastructure, and farming. Social, political, and economic aftershocks could be widespread. Giant river basins may need new flood management plans. Utilities and city planners may have to reconsider the long-term stability of roads, bridges, and even power plants. Communities from the Gulf to the upper Midwest may find themselves asking what else might be shifting unseen beneath our feet. A future written in water and stone. So what now for the Delta, a place where land, water, and deep time meet and remake each other constantly? Change, always the essential story of the Delta, now reaches deeper than ever before. Crustal descent, sediment hunger, and the threats facing the freshwater vault are all forces far bigger than any single fix. As the bird's foot shape of the delta shrinks and the earth subsides, everyone who depends on this place is forced to reconsider. Do we innovate, retreat, or double down and risk all for the sake of holding back time? What do you think about the mysteries hidden under the Mississippi's muddy waters? Are we facing a catastrophe no one anticipated? Or is this just another chapter in the land's eternal transformation? What worries you most? The unseen geological shifts, the fragile fate of the hidden aquifer, or the possibility that the Earth itself is holding secrets just now coming into view? Tell us in the comments. For more true journeys into the unknown, into the wild, the weird, and the astonishing, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thanks for joining us. Stay curious and keep exploring. So often, the answers are found below.